All right, we are headed down to a creek, uh, which is supposed to have some plaster gold. We got four people with us today. And we're also trying to locate a showing, uh, which is sulfide mineralization in brecciated quartz veins and possibly a couple other showings. So we got a little ways hike down through the bushes to the creek. We'll see uh, what we can find today. And hopefully it's some gold for you. We are down by the creek. First sample of the day. Minor amounts of pyrite mineralization. So we'll see if the min file is accurate. We're 100 meters away from the showing. Moved a couple big rocks to get some of this stuff down here. See if we can find any gold. Definitely a little bit of fine gold in there. Looks like a little bit of silver too. So, you can see these little specks here. There's a few more over here. There's a little piece of gold right there. Not much, but definitely shows you that you're on the source. A little bit more gold there. You can see all the tiny little flakes of silver. There's actually a silver showing up creek which uh, samples of said close to 50 ounces per ton. All right so we found a vein running from my prospecting partner about five meters behind me. This is the thickest point right here. It's about 10 centimeters. Uh, it's a quartz vein that has uh, patches of volcanic tuff that are interwoven throughout. Nothing crazy about this vein. However, you do have quite a bit of malachite staining. But, uh, I'm not seeing anything crazy right now. We're gonna hammer a few uh, samples off. I got a guy behind me and my prospecting partner and I'm working here. We're gonna see if we can find a sample that's decent. If not, we'll just keep moving on. You can see the, the turquoise color, green. 
Malachite, Nazarite, very, very minor amounts of calcopyrite in there. Okay, so this is over where my prospecting partner was working. You can see all the green malachite staining. There's disseminated calcopyrite throughout there. So we got a bag full of little chip samples. We're gonna hammer away a little bit more and see if we can find some a bit better. You can see the copper staining on some of the pieces from the quartz vein. Little bits of disseminated calcopyrite in there. And another sample here, which contains native silver and pyrite. So this was found right near the vein as well, but this looks like it's floated down creek a bit. This is a pretty interesting rock. You got sandstone. It's got inclusions of, I don't even know what those are, but you have a weird mineral here, which uh, to me looks an awfully lot like coal, which is not surprising because we are in an area that has had several coal deposits a lot farther up creek. So some of your uh, volcanic tuff, the host rock, which is hosting that quartz vein, you can see that little speck right there. That's molybdenite. Kind of a purpley grayish mineral, sulfide mineral. You can see little bits of molybdenite in there. More, which is uh, found in your quartz but a little bit of calcopyrite but nothing crazy. We're gonna go downstream a bit and maybe pursue this later. All right, we uh, pulled off one more sample before we left and you can see molybdenite there in quartz. Minor amounts of calcopyrite with it. You can see on that bottom right there. So we got our sample here. You can see the little bits of blue in there, that's boronite. Alright, we may not leave this vein today. Uh, just a grab sample a few feet away from the vein. Chipped it open. You can see molybdenite, malachite staining, and quartz. So we're gonna pull a this piece out here and take a look if we can dig it out. Okay, so we hammered that open a bit. Molybdenite. It's a fairly buggy piece, so uh, probably a lot of the uh, sulfide minerals have made their way out from chemical and mechanical weathering. You can see some of the sulfide staining in there. Your yellow, your azurite is your blue, and your green is your malachite. So definitely at one time is a decent presence of copper mineral. We're gonna bag this sample as well. We got more here. Another grab sample right near the vein. All right, so we uh, found a bit of gold in the creek near that vein. Fine gold. So we're just doing a pan to confirm. Mostly fine gold we saw with a couple pieces of wire gold in there. Mm -hmm. 
Not a whole lot of your black sands here. One, two, three, four, five, six specks of gold right there. A little bit of gold. Veins over here. Right here I found a grab sample that's floated down. Made its way down with uh, molybdenite and looks like uh, sort of like some other kind of mineral but a little bit hard to tell. You got buggy quartz here. So we are going to uh, take this sample with us as well. Looks like possibly some covalite and uh, some uh, arsenopyrite in here as well. Okay, so here's that sample broken open. Very interesting. Not a usual sulfide you see. So we got another sample here for analysis. So we found a second sample right near that one. Very similar. Decent mineralization in the sample. So you have the vein which stretches all the way from here, it's broken off right here and continues all the way on up to there. And we don't know the extent of it. The more we pull off the better samples we're getting. Uh, we're going to send one in, a preliminary assay, and we'll see what comes out of that before we decide whether or not to uh, take a look at this further. But we'll definitely be back here doing some panning and checking out farther up the creek and farther down the creek. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time.